rough, rough videos. Hi, my ILS students. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Happy Science Week. And we're going to talk today about uh, density. And we're going to do a sink or float experiment. Now, if you are working with your packet, please get out your Wednesday Week 10 packet. And you can see Miss Kelly put a list of items you can have for this experiment. You'll need a little tub of water. You'll need a rock. You'll need a crayon. Where did my crayon go? Miss Kelly needs to find that. And where did it go? Oh, no, nope, I'll have to find my crayon. And a popsicle stick and a coin. I don't know where my coin or crayon went. I'll have to find those. But Miss Kelly has a few items. So we're going to talk about density because density is the reason something will float or sink. So if something is more dense than water, it will sink. Usually hollow items or less dense items will float. So we're going to guess, make a hypothesis as to whether something will sink or float. So let's start out with a popsicle stick. Miss Kelly sees that it doesn't seem very dense. So I am going to hypothesize that this will float. So under the float, I'm going to put popsicle stick. What about a rock? It feels very dense. So I'm going to think that the rock will sink. I think the rock is more dense than the water. And I also happen to have a chopstick. This is also very similar to the popsicle stick in that it doesn't feel very dense. There are some woods that are very dense that would possibly sink, but I'm going to guess that this one will float. So I'll put chopstick down in the float category. What about a key? I'm going to guess that a key is dense enough to sink. So I'm going to put that right there. So we have our four guesses. We're guessing that the rock and the key is more dense and will sink, that the popsicle stick and the chopstick is more hollow or less dense and will float. So I'm going to give it a try. Let's start out with the rock, the top one on the sink. Let's see if it sinks. Here we go. That was a quick sink. What comes after that? The popsicle stick. Will this sink or float? Miss Kelly hypothesized it would float. Let's see. It definitely floated. What about the key? Will it sink or float? Oh, it definitely sunk. And the last one we have is the chopstick. Will it sink or float? Miss Kelly thought it would float. You know what? I don't even know if it has the option. Look at that. It barely even fits in there. <laughs> Miss Kelly is going to try something different. How about I try? A colored crayon. Well, I'm going to hope that this floats because my hypothesis was that the chopstick was going to float, but it didn't fit in there right. So let's try and see. It did. It floated. So my colored pencil floated. My popsicle stick floated. My key and my rock both sunk. Miss Kelly doesn't know what happened to the coin. I would have guessed the coin to um, sink and the crayon would probably float. I don't know where I put those, but we'll do those again when we get together at 1030 for our experiment. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you enjoyed our sink or float experiment and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Rough, rough videos.